friends, it's Cammie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a video on trust and building trust in relationships. So when it comes to your friends, your partner, your family members, whoever it may be, building trust in relationships is really important. And I'm going to be covering a concept that I found a few weeks ago and I absolutely fell in love with. It's just such a great example of how we build trust in relationships and how we think about trust. I think you guys are going to like it too. So if you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really encourages me to make more videos and don't forget forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love seeing new subscribers on my channel, so if you're a new subscriber, make sure you comment below and introduce yourself. So lately when I think about trust, I think of this beautiful concept I came across a few weeks ago and it was coined by John Gottman and it's called the sliding door moment. So a sliding door moment is a moment when you decide to be present in someone else's life and take them into consideration and put them above yourself. So I know that self-love is preached a lot and I'm not saying I'm against self-love, I'm all for self-love. But the reason why I think this concept is so beautiful is a lot of times we're not really preaching the fact that we need to love others. And that's actually essential in building trust and John Gottman kind of covers this. If you guys haven't seen his video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it below so that you can go watch it. But basically in a sliding door moment, you decide to be present in someone else's life and it's not during a blowout fight where you're screaming at each other. It's, it's these little tiny moments where you could easily, easily just forget about it and not focus on the other person. And it's in these moments that we actually build trust. So I'm gonna give you a few examples um, so that you can understand better what a sliding door moment is. So an example of a sliding door moment might be a moment when Kieran's had a hard day at work and he comes home and I can tell that something is obviously bothering him, but instead I decide to go make a YouTube video and kind of just not even really focus on what he's feeling and just only think about myself and getting that YouTube video done. Even though I see his face across the way, I can obviously tell that he's upset or he has had a hard time at work that day and I just choose to ignore it completely. That's a sliding door moment and that's a moment where I could be building trust with him by going in there and saying, how was your day? What's wrong? What can I do to help you? Um, and I'm just letting that moment pass by and choosing to turn away from these moments is actually really damaging for a relationship over time and that's what John Gottman says. Um, but I actually think of sliding door moments in the other direction as well. So if Kieran were to get excited about something and I can tell he's really excited but I choose to like just be like whatever and not get excited for him, I feel like that's a sliding door moment as well because when you even for instance, like if he gets excited about um, an Xbox game that I know absolutely nothing about and he's clearly so excited about it, but I choose to ignore it and just be like, ugh, that's dumb because I don't know anything about Xbox games, that would be a moment that I'm missing to be excited for somebody that I love. It's a moment that I'm missing to show happiness for somebody that I love. So I really feel like sliding door moments can go the other way where you have a chance to be happy for that friend who has finally found their significant other and is getting married. Um, even if you're not in a, in a great place in your life, you have a chance to be happy for that friend who has finally gotten their dream job. Um, so it's about showing kindness and compassion and love for someone else even when it's not the most convenient for you, even when you're not in the right mental space that day. It's just when you're closing off on all these sliding door moments and you're not being there for somebody else, um, it can be really damaging to a friendship, to your partner. So if you're someone who never notices these sliding door moments, then that could be hindering your trust building abilities. I actually think it's kind of funny because as humans, we often think of things for what they're not. So when we think of trust, how many people would you say when you bring up trust, they kind of start talking about how they had broken trust or someone had broken their trust at some point. Um, but we hardly ever talk about how to build trust. And it just makes so much sense with these sliding door moments that this is the way to build trust, to be there for someone during those happy times, be there for someone and recognize when they're sad and even when it's not convenient for you, that's when it means the most is to build this trust with somebody. It's weird because when we think of trust, we should be thinking about how to build it in our relationships and we always start thinking about how to rebuild it. So somebody who's thinking about trust, 
typically is probably thinking about how to rebuild trust because they've lost it or it's been lost um, in the relationship somehow. So I want to just start thinking about trust and how to build it. Even if your relationships do seem great, there's always chances to build it. There's always chances to be there for others and to love others. Some of you searching this video and the reason why you found this video might be because you are trying to learn how to build more trust which is awesome. You should, we should all try to build more trust. I know that I always have the opportunity to build more trust and be there for others in sliding door moments, just like I'm sure everybody here, everybody watching this video, everybody in the world has uh, more opportunities to build trust. Can you direct positivity to someone else even if you're not feeling very positive at the time, if your life doesn't seem very positive or uplifting at the time, can you direct positivity and be happy for somebody else? So I love this concept of sliding door moments. I know that it's kind of helped me understand a little bit more and it just makes sense. It's not the big blowout fights that ruins relationships most of the time. It's these little sliding door mo moments that are not being noticed. And I are, it's these moments that I always try to be aware of. So if you have never been aware of these sliding door moments, then maybe try to be a little bit more aware. I know that I used to in the past, back in like high school and early college days, I was not always aware of sliding door moments. And sometimes we can get so focused on self-love, which again, isn't bad, self-love is great, but we should also be working on loving others and just being there for other people and building those relationships and being present for those sliding door moments. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what your number one way to build trust is. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!